Hey everybody. So uh, we're outside today. A little thing I ain't ever really seen happen before. Uh, we're out here with the Expedition it's 07 Eddie Bauer 54 or you know Triton B8. Um, Y'all know I put plugs in this thing about four months ago. Did new plugs, new cool packs, things like that. Afterwards, I'd always had this little slight tick, but couldn't figure out what it was. It sounded like it was coming from the front, like cam phaser sounds going in and out. They said it's a common problem with these things. So, um, I just was going to deal with it, drive it like it was, do what we had to do. Um, anyway, uh, went, mine went blank there for a second. Anyway, I was going to drive it you know like it was till we could have the money to actually put it in the shop to have that taken care of you know i checked with it running you know there's spark plug tubes couldn't feel any air blow by or anything like that i you know i could have taken the cool packs off and tightened plugs back down and everything like that but it was running and driving you know the ticking was just there um the other day, I was doing some uh, errands for my dad. He was out of town, so I had to go out to my mom and dad's house. And uh, I was on a trip out through the house, and all of a sudden, the expedition started running real funny. Couldn't figure out what the deal was. So when I got to mom and dad's, I put the uh, code reader on it. said I had misfire on cylinder 7. So I cleared the codes you know did all that check the plugs check the uh harnesses the clips injector clips everything like that because you know these expeditions they're bad about the harness clips getting breaking and getting brittle and loose so i tightened it all up cleared the codes and it ran okay for a little bit then it went to missing and firing again acting funny so cleared the codes checked it again then i got a code for um voltage on a voltage code on cool f i believe it was which was cylinder seven again so i'll take the cool pack off put my cool tester on it to see if i had any spark of course i couldn't see it sparking because the cool tester wasn't reaching down in there good but as soon as i touched it i knew it had some power i did some finagling with it got the light where the light would flash things like that so I went ahead and pulled the spark plug out. And this is where it got crazy. Let me show you this. This is what I pulled out. This plug was four months old. Now I don't know when that tip come unscrewed fell off. And I sure the hell don't know when that end melted off or broke off. It ain't supposed to look like that. It's supposed to have an electrode coming out the middle there and like two little tips for the little arc. But luckily I kept my old spark plugs. Not only that, this thing was loose. And when I do my spark plugs, I always do my plugs as tight as I can by hand and then a quarter turn with the ratchet. That's how I was always taught. A quarter turn pass tight. Now I put a new plug in. It wasn't a new plug. It's one of the old ones that was originally in here. But it, I got it to fire back up, and it ran just fine. And the ticking sound went away. The whole time it was ticking because this damn plug was loose. So when I'm thinking, and I sent the picture of it to my dad, and he was kind of thinking too, maybe it was sucking the air in because it was causing a tick. If I can get it to damn focus... I don't know what the focus deal is. Sorry, guys. But, uh, maybe it was, uh, sucking air in and it got too hot and it just burned that tip off. Now, I did take my camera and I looked down in the cylinder hole, down in the engine bay, and I checked and I didn't see this end piece down in there i put a screwdriver down in there just to see make sure you know i wasn't hitting any obstructions 
I bumped it over a little bit and you could see where the carbon had built up on the top of the piston head from where the screwdriver had touched. But uh, I didn't see any damage or anything like that in there. But this is an E3 plug. I've never had issues with them before. These plugs were $13 a piece. And I've never seen anything like that before. Where the whole end of the plug is just completely missing. There's no indications that it struck the piston or anything like that. The truck never went to like spitting and sputtering or clacking like it had any material in the cylinder. It's not blowing any smoke or anything like that. Any kind of indicators of a, you know, the piece was in there and bent a valve or broke a valve or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I put that old spark plug back in it, which was the cleanest of the ones that I had that was in it before. And, I mean, it kind of woke it back up again. But up until the other day, there was no signs or indicators that this was bad, other than, you know, the ticking sound that it was making. And, you know, I had a feeling it could have possibly been a loose spark plug, but, you know, it's a lot of stuff to take off, put back on, especially when you can't afford downtime with your vehicle. So I guess next time I'm going to have to take that downtime because it could have been a lot worse. But uh, if you've seen something like this before, like, comment, subscribe, let me know. I mean, any ideas what you think could have caused that. If you've seen it before, had it happened to you before, let me know what you think. I, I appreciate you watching. And uh, we're almost at 200 subscribers. Uh, so, we're getting there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.